Hi everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kennedy and I live in Austin and this is going to be a weekend vlog. So right now it's Saturday. It's like 10 15. I like just got out of bed, but I am going to go to a workout class. It starts at 10 30, but it's like six minute drive from my house. It's super nice. I go to True Fusion in South Austin. I used to go to True Fusion in Bellevue in Washington and they have like a bunch of different classes. Like they have like yoga, like Pilates, bar, spin, like I can't even think of it, like boxing, but that one's not that often. They have like a kettlebell and like a hit workout class, like circuits, like TRX. Like they have like so many classes and they have, God, my hair like so. I'm probably gonna put it in a bun, but it looks like crazy right now. They have like five like rooms and some of them are heated. So like they're like hot classes and some of them are unheated. The class I'm doing today, I'm very excited about. I just pulled it up. It's called Body Rock. It's 45 minutes and it says it's unheated. So like certain rooms are heated and certain ones aren't. So like, for example, boxing, I don't think is heated, but a lot of the yoga, the bar, the Pilates, like those kind of things are heated. But it says a high energy sweat session with choreographed dance move driven by music to create a dynamic and exhilarating workout. A diverse selection of music and body rocking vibes will allow you to get better and stronger every week. So I love dancing. I love dancing so much. Like I love doing like dance classes. Like I used to go to this one at my college. I did a Zumba class one time at like my local YMCA and that like sucked. Like that like wasn't fun. But like this one I have hope for. I'm hoping it's going to be like the one I used to do in college. But yeah, I'm going to head out and I think this is going to be a good weekend. So I'll just take you along with me. Okay, so I just got out of that class. That was so fun. That was basically exactly like the class I did in college. Yeah, that was hard. I definitely couldn't keep up or like keep up with like the dance moves the whole time. But the one that I did in college, it was like there would be like a lot of them that you would like do again. Like I'm imagining if I came next week, like some of those songs and dances, we would like do the same ones and then like some new ones. But like there's lots that you repeat. So like you probably like kind of start to learn it at least that's how I was with the other one but that was super fun except they just don't offer it that much like I'm pretty sure the only one that I could come to was this one on Saturday I think they had one like during the week at like noon but like I can't go to like a noon class with work that just like wouldn't work so yeah I don't think I'll get to go that often but even if I just get to go on Saturday that's fun because that was like a good way to get a workout in but it was like really fun versus like if you were to go do like a circuit class on a Saturday like that's not that exciting like that's how I used to feel about when I first started going to Soul Cycle, and I would go on the weekend and it wouldn't be like oh I have to go to Soul Cycle. it'd be like oh I get to go to Soul Cycle today versus like Orange Theory it's I love Orange Theory. It's a really good workout, but it definitely feels like oh, I have to go to Orange Theory sometimes but Okay, I I really need to get a car wash. I'm wondering if I should just go do that now I don't want to okay. I hate going to the car wash You know how you have to like drive into the thing, but I want to go to one that you just like drive into I guess we'll see I have to look one up Okay, so I just went to Sephora. I'm in the mall parking lot. I have two little bags. I'll show you what I got, I think, when I get home. But, yeah, I parked it. Sorry, I feel like it's dark. I parked at Sephora and... I mean, I parked at JCPenney and went into the Sephora and JCPenney. And then I bought, like, a couple things. And I was like, oh, do you have Laura Mercier? And she was like, oh, no, we don't. And I was like, oh, okay. And then when I was checking out, she was like, oh, but they definitely have Laura Mercier at, like, the Sephora in the mall. And then I was like, oh, there's, like, another Sephora? And she was like, yeah. So that's why I have two different bags. Because I bought a couple things at the first place. And there was a couple things I wanted that they didn't have. But then they had it at the big Sephora. So I don't even know why they have the one in JCPenney. But anyways, I got everything that I wanted. Did I? Yeah, I think I got everything that I wanted. I don't even know how much I spent. Sephora is so expensive. I never really buy like makeup that much. 
So my first one I spent $69 and my second one I spent $88. Okay. Um, yeah, it's hot in this lighting. I don't even know what's going on. I'm gonna go home and I'll show you what I got when I get home. Okay, I'm home. Ignore. Just, <laughs> I don't have a cute setup in here, okay? So the first place, like when I went to the one inside JCPenney, I got this Benefit The Real Magnetic Mascara and I've tried the Benefit They're Real, but then apparently this magnetic one is supposed to be really good and I decided I'd give it a shot. So I got that and then I got this Inky List Retinol. It's just like a night serum retinol. I heard Abby McKnight, the McKnight twins, uh, she was talking about how retinol is really good to use and um, it like helps reduce wrinkles and like you should be using one and I'm like 25 so and this is only 10 bucks and she was like if you don't have one this one's only 10 bucks so I was like okay cool I'll try that out and then I got the super goop unseen sunscreen this was expensive for like being sunscreen I don't remember exactly how much it was I want to say like 30 bucks and it's just like this little thing of sunscreen but when you put it on like I tried it on my hand and it feels like really good and not like a traditional sunscreen would be. And so I think this would be really good um, just like to wear under makeup, but then also just like every day if you put this on, it like obviously it won't look like you're wearing sunscreen. And I think that summer's coming up and I just need to wear sunscreen. I never wear sunscreen. My tinted moisturizer has like some sort of SPF in it, but even on days I don't wear makeup, I think that'll just be good to get in the habit of using on like my neck and then my face. Someone said on the back of your hands, so like the back of your hands will age. And I'm like, I don't know if I care, but I'm, maybe I will. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, and then the second Sephora that I went to, I got this Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer. This is what I always use. This is probably like the one thing I actually needed. Like this and like the sunscreen I'd say. And the rest of the stuff is kind of just because I wanted it. But yeah, this is a refill. This is my favorite tinted moisturizer. I This is probably like my fifth one or something. I just love it. It's expensive. I think it's like $48, but it's so good. And it lasts me a while because I don't wear makeup every day. So it's just worth it to me. Another recommendation from Abby they did like well Abby did like a wish list video and I watched that and then they just put out like a haul video and so I watched that just before I went just to see if there's any last minute things there's more I could have bought but I didn't like need it so yeah but still excited about the stuff I got but this is the Moroccan oil perfect defense heat protectant and you can use it on dry hair or wet hair and I don't even think I have a heat protectant right now I have this like leave-in conditioner that says it's like a heat protectant too but I don't have just like a straight up heat protectant I don't use the leave-in conditioner every day I don't know how often you're supposed to use it but I just feel like you're not supposed to use it every day so I don't, but I really don't know. I wash my hair every day, don't come for me. Everyone says you're not supposed to, but I do it anyways. Um, or sometimes every other day, but usually every day. And then I got this, um, the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. Wait, is this different? Wait, I thought this was just a different scent. I grabbed this right as I went to the checkout, so. Let me see, because Abby talked, <laughs> Abby, again, talked about one of these. Um, let's see. I want to make sure I got the right one. Okay, yeah, I did. Okay, I just thought it was still called the Bum Bum Cream, but it's not. But it's, like, essentially the same thing, but it's um, this pink one. It's a different scent. So, let's see. Oh, that smells really good. Okay, I think I got it on my nose. But yeah, this is just like a cream. I use it on like my butt, my legs, sometimes my stomach. Um, not for your face, but yeah, it just says retexturizing body cream nourishes as it reveals healthier, smoother, and brighter looking skin. So this was kind of just like an impulse. I don't need it, but I wanted it, so I got it. And that's everything. So I just got four things, I'm six things, but yeah. 
that was fun i haven't gotten stuff from sephora in so long so that was really nice so it is like 4 30 now i am going to what was it called armadillo den i think that was the name armadillo yeah armadillo den but basically it's like this i've never been there but i looked it up online and it's like I think there's like two food trucks and they have like beer drinks whatever it's like this big like outdoor like picnic tables all this kind of stuff and they have live music every night and so they have live music tonight and it's just like a beer garden type of situation and i'm actually going with this girl her name is kennedy like which is kind of funny because that's my name and we both do accounting it's like really weird we're like wow we have like a lot of similarities but i made a bumble bff and we are friends on there and we have just been chatting this week and like i said we have a lot in common and stuff so we are going to go there together and we've never met before but i think it should be fun and i don't feel like it'll be awkward just because i feel like we'll have so much to talk about because we like both do accounting and like both study that in college we both just moved to austin and even just like having like our jobs being like similarities like we'll have like a lot to talk about with that and just like yeah so she's the only one i've like really talked to on bumble bff there's other people that i've matched with and had like one or two conversations back and forth i should really try i should go on there after this and like try to talk to more people but sometimes it's just like the couple conversations i have had it's almost like okay i hate dating out conversations because which obviously this is like the bff one but i'm saying like also for dating apps like i'm always like i don't even know what to say to you like unless you like have something to talk about it's like so boring like what did you do this weekend oh blah blah, blah. like it's yeah unless there's like something that like gets the conversation going i'm like i'm literally so bored and <laughs> so that was kind of the thing with her is that we like had something to talk about versus like the other people it's like you don't have anything to talk about and like i'm sure if we hung out like it would be fun but it's like you have to like talk a little bit before you hang out and so sometimes there's just nothing to talk about but i should do it because like i bet we're gonna have a good time tonight and that'd just be like fun to like make friends with more people and stuff so i'll let you know how it goes but I think tonight will be fun so i got ready it's actually like a little bit cold outside this weekend the weather is kind of weird um i can show you my outfit so sorry this is like my makeshift like <laughs> little um corner so these are like black mom jeans from american eagle this whole outfit is actually american eagle this is a little like knit tank top and then i have it tucked in and then I have this like green kind of button up shirt that I just wear open like that. And then I am going to bring my um, denim jacket. It's just like a big oversized kind of distressed denim jacket. Shoes. Probably going to just wear Vans, I think. Um, I tried on my black booties with this and I didn't like the way it looked at the bottom like how these jeans are cut and then the boots i didn't like it so i'll probably just wear my vans like my black vans but yeah we're meeting at 6 30 it's a little bit after six now but yeah i'm gonna get ready to go soon and i'm not gonna film when i'm there because i've never met her and i'm not gonna be like oh me in my vlog so yeah but i'll let you know how it goes i'm sure it'll be fun um yeah okay it's sunday it's like almost 10 o'clock my spin class starts at 10 o'clock i just basically got up and came straight here to true fusion but yesterday was super fun and it was not awkward at all we were probably there for like three hours and we like got a drink and we ate dinner and there was like live music and it was like really cool and yeah i don't know i mean if you i feel like all like bumble bff hang not all but i feel like most bumble bff hangouts like you could probably meet up with like most of the girls you match with and it not be like weird or awkward but 
but it's hard to get the conversation going in the beginning like I mentioned like we had something in common that we talked about but then like once we were there it's like yeah we talked about like work a little bit but like most of the time I feel like we weren't talking about that so I feel like you could like have fun with anyone but then it's also like you need to talk to them a little bit before you ask them like oh let's hang out probably because if like your first message was like oh let's hang out this weekend like that might be weird I don't know but we are I think gonna go out on like next weekend Friday and we were saying like maybe we can like get other people and like get a group and be like oh me and my friend are going out like if you want to come and then maybe get a little group together I don't know but yeah if you are new to a city and trying to make friends I recommend bubble BFF because that was my first experience and it went pretty well I feel like my voice sounds gone but there was like live music so I feel like we had to like talk loud um but yeah I am at spin do you want to see what I wear during class I wear a face shield you have to wear a mask when you go in, but then during class, you can switch to a face shield while you're on the bike. Oh my god, it got dark. Um, sorry, it's so dark. But, and I do because it makes it way easier, easier to breathe. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I will just have more vlogs of my life in Austin. So if you want to see that, you can subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.